Everybody say hi, Chief. Hi, Chief. Hi, guys. How's it going? I've been around for 34 years, and I will tell you that my last three and a half, four years in Maplewood have been some of the best of my career. He is smart. And let me spell that out for you. S stands for strategic thinker. It gives us a chance to work across departments. He has really, I think, set the course for public safety in our city, and I really appreciate his leadership. He has done so much for transparency, for accountability. We've been able to accomplish a lot of things as an agency. So what he brings to the current state of affairs is a calm voice and a reasoning voice. Always taking a step back, take, you know, viewing the entire picture before making um, decisions. M stands for mentor for many. The Chief Nadeau is really good at raising the bar, and then every time you think you've raised yourself to that bar, he's good at moving it up to the next notch. Pushing yourself out of that comfort zone. He's a master at that. While he has very high standards, he also understands that I'm a father, that I'm a husband, and he supports the entire employee. So I'm happy to report that Ryland obtained a badge from the dollar store, and his badge pinning ceremony actually took place two weeks ago. There had been a, uh, a couple different promotional uh, processes that I never engaged in. And I remember him sitting there and asking me, have you considered a sergeant's position with the police department? I'm like, why? I, I totally enjoy what I do, I'm, I'm good at what I do, why would I want to change that? I just remember that conversation where the light bulb went on, ended up uh, eventually getting promoted to a sergeant. Now A, he is always saying, that's amazing! He has a way of breaking the ice. You have to say action. Oh. That kind of shocks the mind sometimes, but... <laughs> the guy came in the door and actually apologized to me for effectively taking a position that I had been seeking as well. I thought that spoke volumes to me. We had an officer that, you know, had some, was arresting someone that had a weapon or had a gun. So we were probably a mile away and, and I just remember lights and siren and his, I'm driving as fast as I can. And I remember his legs shaking over there. His knee was just bouncing. He's like, Reynolds, you gotta go faster. You gotta go faster. I'm like, I look over at him. I'm like, that pedal doesn't go down any further than it is. I'm going as fast as I can. <laughs> so um, anyway, so that was the introduction. That's how we started. I think I met him approximately 30 years ago. I was a young attorney working for LELS and he was a patrol officer in Brooklyn Center. I think my grandfather said it best. He would probably describe Scott as being full of piss and vinegar. R is for responsive to residents, the city council, myself, senior management team, his employees. He's always there to help someone or respond to their needs. For the past four years, Scott has provided, for me, probably the most stability to the Maplewood Police Department. T, this is for big, Thinker. He has done some pretty amazing things, some cutting edge things here uh, for our residents, uh, for our businesses in Maplewood. He's also increased employee engagement, has built important relationships both within the city and with community stakeholders, and he helped create the Multicultural Advisory Committee. He also has assisted with uh, the development of the uh, partnership with Ramsey County for the mental health outreach worker. And you look at our department as a whole with the new hires that Scott has brought to the agency, a large portion of those have brought that continued diversity that is a reflection of our community. I was going to borrow Maddie a tie, but I, I told her later I'm glad I didn't because it probably would have come down to her belt line. So. A lot of these new officers that come to Maplewood have done the research and sought us out in many cases because they've heard about a lot of the good things that are occurring in law enforcement within the city of Maplewood. She said, do you know that you stole two uh, potential officers away from transit? And I said, that's only because I couldn't find three. <laughs> Although Scott has only been in the city of Maplewood for four years, uh, there's no doubt that he has made more changes in four years than many chiefs make uh, in double that time. In looking at the leaders that I know around the state of Minnesota, Scott ranks up there in probably the top five chiefs of police, public safety directors that I have known throughout my career. And I have pretty good insight in watching chiefs 
great chiefs that are trying to make change within their agencies, very, very difficult. It wasn't the bull in the china shop. He had the ability from a personality standpoint, from a management standpoint, uh, to cut through that culture and make significant changes. You've done a fantastic job, something to be extremely proud of. I'm extremely proud of you. Thank you. I will miss his leadership and his positive attitude. Thank you, Scott, for your service and best wishes for your journey ahead.